What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Matco Tools Day. Yeah, it's snowing like crazy. So let's take a look and see what Michael's got today. You guys, come on. Snowy, snowy. Mess out there. That's a rare sight for Mississippi, ain't it? Well, that's the thing. I know everybody was laughing at us for talking about needing these heavy jackets uh, <laughs> last Friday, and uh, that's before we realized that we were gonna get the ice, and then a couple of days later we were gonna get the snow on top of it. So, yeah. Uh, you want to you want to cripple everybody in Mississippi? Just uh, throw a little ice and snow on the ground. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. So. Yep. Um, it's been a, a just a weird week altogether. If you would have told me last Friday, hey, you're not going to run the rest of the week next week, so just don't worry about all that prep. Don't worry about all that. Just sit back. Mm -hmm. I would have called you a liar. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, well, what's bad is, you know, we got like two inches of ice. Yeah. And it was rough driving on it. And then we got four inches of snow on top of it. You do good on the snow. Except yep. where everybody tracks it down, it gets back to the ice layer again, then it's slick, so. Well, and it doesn't look like, it's definitely not going to melt today, and it doesn't look like it's going to melt tomorrow, so. I don't know, we'll just, we'll put up with it till the temperatures get here, right? <laughs> uh, I know my driveway's not very fun to get down with it like that, so. Yeah. Uh, I haven't went anywhere. <laughs> just, <laughs> but that that is what it is. Um, could be much worse. We could be in the situation that uh, several people down south Mississippi's in without uh, without power. Uh, we could be like Texas where almost the whole state doesn't have that power. Yeah. Um, which I know there's a lot of uh, hearsay going on about Texas and stuff right now, but the only thing we know for sure is they're hurting pretty bad. I Absolutely. Mean, I th it's first time it snowed since what 1980 something or something or longer i don't know yeah it was in the 80s i think I, since we got the... you know it was something it was been a long time since they've got any snow at all and they got crippling snow and ice and everything else so it could be much worse but well, like guys up north probably laugh at us you know oh y'all got four inches of snow and you can't go anywhere but you know like i got a buddy of mine i'm like you don't understand like down here it's normally 70 this time of the year we don't have the heat systems they do up there. Our homes is not insulated enough like well, it is up there. Like we're more for heat down here than well, we, we are also cold. don't have the stuff to clear the roads. Yeah. I mean, we don't have three or four plow trucks loaded with salt plowing mm -hmm. the roads for us. I mean, they're driving down the streets with tractors trying to clean this stuff off and they're not doing any good. They're just yeah. slicking the surface back over and then <laughs> there we are again. I mean, um, well, I did see one MDOT truck and I, and I took a little video. That's the first one I've ever seen in my entire life in Mississippi plowing snow. I don't think there's but like three in the whole state of Mississippi. And that's yeah. the thing. They usually stay down, uh, you know, around Jackson and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Well, now the whole state's covered in this stuff. They can't keep up. Yeah. Um, I know Wednesday or Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday morning before any of this got started, they had the highway pretty pretty drivable. Yeah, they did. Um, the back roads that we all live on was crap, but the mm -hmm. highway, it was pretty clear. And then we got four inches of snow. So yeah. they can't keep up. They don't have the manpower to do it. So, you know, we don't have a bunch of the stuff to make it to where none of this bothers us. You know, we got distributors right now laughing at the, the southern distributors because <laughs> they're like, hey, we, we go to work and we got a foot outside. It's like, yeah, yeah it's a little it's a different. It's a little different because, like, I've been, you know, like, we've been to Chicago a couple of years ago. My grandmother passed away. It was negative five, and they had, like, a foot of snow on the ground. Yeah. But the roads were completely clear and dry. You know, they take care of it, and it's... That's the difference. Yeah, you know? well, not only that, but around here, when, when that happens, there is four wheelers, side by sides. There is, it's all through town right now. I yeah. mean, I, when we went to the store um, Wednesday morning, I had to wait behind four wheelers and side by sides at red lights. You don't know, you don't do that. I mean, <laughs> that's something that they're not going to mess with them down here yeah. right now because the roads are completely. Well, they couldn't over. catch them if they tried. That's you know, right. So. I mean, I, there was a video of somebody who, uh, Highway Patrol, uh, 
cut his lights on, and they didn't stop, and he just cut them back off. I mean, he can't he yeah. can't speed up and yeah, go. Yeah, don't catch them. Um, that's for sure. And they're just trying to have fun. And then there's, yeah. I noticed that some of our nurses. I don't know if you've been on Facebook, uh, but some of the nurses that uh, do home health care is actually using side by sides to get to their patient. Cool. this week so i mean that's something that you don't have to do up north you don't see your nurses getting in side by sides and going to people's houses wearing I mean, big jackets and you know, bubbling that's, up that's so. the dedication that they're doing and and we're making it i mean we needed right. a week off anyway why not right i see it might um, as well blame it on the snow right that's right that's right i definitely would have took off if it wasn't for the snow but my kids are outside having fun in it now yeah. uh it's been 11 years um the last time we got this kind of snow uh i was 18 years old and my little my oldest daughter was one uh, or she had just been born she wasn't even born yet she had just been born so it's her first time really getting to enjoy the snow and, and this is good snow usually we get that old wet mushy oh yeah we've done crisp, the, crunchy snow this is the nice powdery fluff we've you know, done the snowman we've done yeah. slid I, we have slid all week um <laughs> i know my wife's ready for it to go because she has to keep cleaning up after we come in you know all the, the snow and everything in the floor but that's okay. We are going to talk a little tools, though. Well, hold on before you show that. Okay. Uh, a couple of weeks ago when you showed all the cool tools that yep. people need, there's been a bunch of people wanting to know the part number to the half-size lug nut kit that you okay. showed. Uh, that's, that's, it's probably been at least five or six guys have asked right about that. I think it's right back here. Um, let's see. Well, I said it's right back here. Maybe I sold it because it was on top of the toolbox. I can't remember. That's okay. I can look it up. There's several folks interested in that set, and I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why we didn't give the part number, but we didn't. Yeah, so. we normally pretty good at giving the part number. I don't know. I don't know why. We happened. will get it though. In fact, I ordered that uh, a set just like it. Uh, during the sale we had recently. Yeah, so it's going to be part numbers LT1233. LT1233. Yep, that's going to have your 18 and a half, 19 and a half, 21, 21 and a half, 22, and 22 and a half. So that will get them fixed up on the half sizes. And there you go. They call them. Uh, the chrome cap busters because normally that's what you have to use it on is the ones that's got the chrome caps right, the mushroom out um there's a lot of theories around why they they mushroom out you know some people say oh it's the wrong size lug nut or, or wrong size socket or somebody tried to tighten it too much either way every chrome socket i've ever took off like that or chrome lug nut that i took off swell it swelled i yep. mean I know what socket Fords to use. seem to be the worst too, because yeah. man, they are awful. I haven't dealt with a lot of Fords, but Toyotas would do it, and we heard everything, you know, basically every excuse we could of why they did it. But I know good and well that on some of those vehicles that I worked on, the last person that worked on that ticket was me, and I, <laughs> I knew Torque what I was doing. Right. So I think it's just part of it. It's just put a little thin cap around mm -hmm. it. It's just good to have those sockets that way you can put that to an end but yeah i was going to show this i know we've all i know you saw a video that clay did last week on it uh, i don't know if everybody saw it or not but i wanted to show that off too um the back in blue i guess we've known about it for a little while and we had to i think we teased it on the video and we yeah. said new things yeah. are coming uh this was it we had to keep our mouth shut for a little while um i do believe they're going to come out with the other sizes actually let me just well, go ahead and they, say they i've are. already yeah, yeah several guys um I had one of my buddies, Tailgate Tech, you met him, yeah. Andy. He sent me a screenshot. He ordered all three sizes. Yeah. So. so I've got all three ordered for a customer now um, and hopefully got uh, some more coming to go on the ceilings. Um, so, you know, some of this stuff that gets out so quick ain't supposed to get out so quick. You yeah. know, we, we've known about it for a while. Uh, yeah, actually, that video had been shot probably for two or three months i guess you i know, know i know i brought this to you in december yeah and it was okay don't release it don't release it yeah. don't release it and the next thing i know we're starting to get pictures of people seeing it it's like <laughs> what good is it doing for us not to not to tell nobody but yeah we've known yeah because everybody was asking me like what is it and i never told a soul you and know, that makes it hard because i have people texting yeah. me too it's like hey I, I asked clay if he knew about it do you know anything about these and it's like no I, well, i'm all surprised <laughs> so yeah, I know there's been a lot of 
like people that really like the blue. I mean, there's been a lot of pro comments, you know, and so, a lot of guys are like, are they going to do pry bars? Are they going to do screwdrivers? Are they going to do impacts? I'm like, I honestly, and that's true. I honestly yeah. don't know. I would love to see them do the. I don't you know, know that it'll do any line. good, but we had a meeting, a district meeting, uh, this past weekend, Saturday, and it got brought up about not only blue, like, uh, handle pliers and stuff like that mm -hmm. pry bars but it also got up maybe purple yeah there's purple. been a lot of guys wanting purple so i think the color situation i think mako's listening and i think it's mm -hmm. getting involved so um i think it i think it's coming um i, I don't know when it may be forever from now I, I, and it may not happen but if blue can sell this many ratchets yeah. Why would you not go ahead and put it on pry bars and mm -hmm. pliers and everything that's got a handle on it? I mean, well, so. nobody has a blue pry bar, I don't think, do they? Uh, not that I know of. Um, the only person that I would even maybe think about, well, maybe Cornwell might have one, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know. But, you know, a blue, blue pry bar, um, blue pliers, any, anything that we can put blue on, why not? Yeah. Um, That's true. I know some people that some of the older guys that watch this video probably go, ah, what's it matter on color? That's a big issue with techs nowadays. Mm -hmm. You don't go to a car lot to buy a yeah, car I mean, and go, why know, like, it don't matter the color? Like Bill, he wouldn't buy anything that wasn't green. Yeah. You know, at that time. And then I know some guys that won't buy anything that's red. Yeah. You know, and that's why, uh, I'll be honest, that's why I never had any Matco stuff before. The maroon. Because they only offered the maroon, and I just, I don't like the maroon color. Yeah. Well, and I can understand that. Um, I don't like maroon for another reason, but right. if you're from Mississippi, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you either like blue or you like maroon if you're from yeah. Mississippi. That's that's your two so, color options. <laughs> uh, I don't really have a problem with them. I just, I, I don't, you know, I don't like the color. But yeah. It seems like for a while that's all Well, Michael's let me good. ask you this, and this is honest as can be. Which one do you sell more of, the maroon impacts or the green or the orange impacts? I'll put it to you this way. If you was to look at my inventory, there is no maroon. Uh, mm -hmm. And that, whether that be um, electric ratchets, uh, impacts, anything air tool reliable that you can get in green or orange, if I can get it in green or orange, that's what I order. Yeah. Uh, the only reason that my infrared is maroon is that's the only color they offer it in. Yeah. In fact, I ordered a torque wrench. That's a new color. It was. Uh, I don't have the flyer anymore, but it was part of the, the meeting. Um, torque wrench is now, uh, we have green and Yeah, I've seen a, somebody posted a picture of a green one. It yeah, good so too. I, that's what I ordered. I ordered a green one. Um, if I can get away from the maroon, that's what I'm getting away with because more techs these days are going more colors, yeah. vibrant colors, and, and I'm fine with that. Any color they want, if mm. I got it, I'll sell it. The only color I don't like is the color we don't offer, and that's just because I can't sell it. So. Yeah. Um, but no, um, I I don't think I've carried a maroon impact. The two that you see there are actually um, the demos. demos. Um, my air hammers. Um, I actually sold my display of the newer one. That's a demo of the older one. I keep it to loan out when somebody's air hammer goes down and needs to get rebuilt. Um, I would even, if they started doing red, like it's on the Silver Eagle there, I yeah. would even sell that. I'd keep that on the truck. But the maroon, for whatever reason, people just burn out on that, that color. Well, I've, that's been around so long with you yeah. guys. You that's know? like a red toolbox. It is super hard for me to try to sell a red toolbox. I have not successfully sold a red toolbox yet to this day. Well, I've, I've sold one. I'm a lot older than you are, but I remember the first Snap-on guy that run this area. He, he carried two colors toolboxes, black and red, and yeah. that's it. And uh, when my buddy, Kerry Martin, become a snap-on dealer here, I remember he got like a blue and a green, I think was what he had on his truck when yeah. he first got it. And I was like, man, I didn't even know they had these. And everybody <laughs> was going crazy. Like, he sold a lot of toolboxes yeah. just because nobody, you know, you either had black or red before. It's so all the guy would stop. So. Yeah. So... Like I said, I've not successfully put a red toolbox on here and been able to sell it in a week. I've sold one, mm -hmm. but it took me a year to sell that box, and I pretty much sold it for cost, just yeah. because it was doing me no good. It was, you know, it, I, it kept going on in the truck, off the truck, on the truck, and off the truck. And finally, I had somebody that's like, hey, I need a toolbox. I said, hey, I got a red one. Well, I don't really like red. Well, how about I sell it to you for this? I'll take it. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> okay. So I don't call that successful sale. 
um, just because it took so long and basically made nothing off of it. Actually, made nothing off of it. But um, if you count, you know, I know in business they count storage and all that. If you count all that, I, I lost big time on it. Right. Um, but I mean, that's the thing. That people's tired of red toolboxes. It was, you know, all you could get. It's, I mean, if they made all the vehicles out there gray. Well, that would work for a year or two, and then everybody would be tired of gray. Exactly. Well, they successfully pushed maroon tools for probably, what, 10, 15, mm -hmm. 20, 30? I don't know how many years they pushed them, but I think the new color's coming, red, green, orange. Um, everybody was super excited about the red handle ratchets when they yep. first came out. They weren't excited as the blue. The blue was like, you know, mm -hmm. the well, most popular Well, that's completely one. different, you know. Like I say, nobody's got that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I know Snap-on has like a blue color, but it's a it's a it's a different blue. Well, it's not soft grip either. You right, know, it's, it's the not hard soft grip. grip. It's the hard grip. Yeah, it's a, like a pearl. Well, and blue uh, or something. You know, we're talking a lot about color, but that's also the style, the handles. Yeah. The older techs really like the hard style handles, and now we went to these soft grip, and everybody likes them better. You mm -hmm. know, screwdrivers are the same way. Snap-on had the hard the hard style screwdrivers forever, and that's what everybody wanted was. The hard now everybody's wanting these grip. The, yeah. the the you know our new screwdrivers is the non-slip and everything like that. Just something people's wanting. Well, um, I know a lot of people's asked too about changing the handles. I'm like they don't pull off the ratchet like. Yeah, the there's a couple of reasons we do that. We, it's not to in, inconvenience anybody. It's not to where oh well they just want it so they can't sell the blue handle that way. I got it. No, mm. that's not it. Uh, we do that as more of a we know it's not going to come back off. Mm -hmm. uh, if it if it's and that's just like our screwdrivers. Yeah, like the screwdrivers are the same. Your way. demo, there's, you know, and I try to explain to people they're made different than Snap-on. Like you can't just pry that out of the right. So this has actually been the actual part here has been cut too, but it's butterflied in here. That way, that does not spin inside. If you, if you're spinning that big of an object inside that handle, yeah. that's been wore out for a long time. You should have carried it back to your micro distributor. Right. Um, but I'm going to say. Before this handle starts to slip, you're either going to break the tip off or lose the screwdriver. Exactly. Especially if you're using this one, because uh, you're using it wrong, probably. You probably use <laughs> this bar. bar. <laughs> but, uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, that's warranty? No, this is a demo. Oh, okay. Well, how'd that happen? Well, that's a demo. Yeah. <laughs> I've told some people more than once, but um, I'll tell you a story, and I may have already told this story, but when I first started as a Maco distributor, we were carrying this around, and people was like, oh, well, what is that for? What is that for? Well, they sent me this little tube. I don't even know where it is anymore. I think we talked about it on there. I think Bill asked if what the tube was for. Um, but either way, you stick two screwdrivers in there and mm -hmm. you have our non-slip and any other make of a screwdriver, basically. Um, but the number one that got to, brought to me in my area was Snap-on. Not because um, that's who, you know, that's the big rival or anything. That's just Snap-on had this route pretty much um, buy sell for a while because of what the other macro distributor had right. set himself up for and uh, so I had a customer come on here he had his snap on screwdriver he's like I want to do it you know I want I want to do the test so you put Germex in your hands and you take the screwdriver uh, you put one in one one in the other and you try to twist and you see which one twist out of your hands first um, well of course the macro screwdriver um, because it had the non-slip handle. He had the hard style. Yeah, those his, are slick his, anyway. His slip. He's like, okay, well, let's dry our hands and then dry the tools and let's do it. Okay, no problem. That's more of a fair test, mm -hmm. right? And those, you kind of got more of a, people like to say because it's more squared off, it's got more grip. Mm -mm. Eh, either way, we went to do that test and he took both hands and he held his. I took mine and we, we turned it. Well, his blade spun inside his screwdriver. You want to talk about somebody throwing a fit like a baby? He was pissed. <laughs> so I ended up buying him a new snap-on screwdriver for it. I know I could have just bought him a handle, but he wasn't happy. And I, it was my first two weeks on the route, and I didn't want to lose a customer because of it. But yeah. I stopped doing that test because of that reason. Um, more than likely, he needed a new handle a mm -hmm. long time before that. But that's what we don't want these to do. We don't want them to spin inside. And after you replace the blade so many times, there's only so many times that yep, you can turn that. That's true. And the handle is going to start spinning. And yes, I'm sure if you've got a good snap on dealer, they'll replace the handle, but that's just something we don't, right. we don't want, we want, we want it butterfly. Well, that's, here. that's one of the reasons why I, I really like the way Matco does it. You, you know, if you break a screwdriver here, I get a brand new one. Yep. It don't matter if you've, your handles nicked up or not, you yep. got a new one, you know, we're on, 
you know the other guys you get a, a you get a new blade and that's i did a video on that and uh where we had one warranted and man that was everybody was fussing in hamilton but it's not hamilton it's not that's, hamilton that snap on as a corporation the way they do it and yeah so like he got a lot of heat off that but it wasn't him i'm like look guys if you don't like this buy a matco they'll give you a whole new one like yeah, it so is what it is that's the thing about warranty and i'm glad you brought that up because that goes for matco distributors too i've i've had people contact me it's like hey you know on the video you warranty that i didn't warranty it for a customer well, Maco has rules. They mm -hmm. have rules to what can be warranted. If they see a cheater pop on this, they're liable not to warrant it, warranty it. And there's just certain things. There's, that's just what it is when it comes down to it. Now, if you've got a good dealer, he'll work with you. And I'm sure if it was a big enough problem and and Hamilton was going to lose the business, we he oh, would have yeah. replaced it. I mean, that's what he yeah. had done. But most people understand that there's rules to, mm -hmm. to the warranty. Um, now, there's people out there that don't warranty stuff that they should. I'm not trying to take up for every distributor um, because there is people that, that ask, you know, is this warranty? Um, yeah, it should be warranty. And it's like, well, I don't think you used it right. Well, mm, you know, every person that brings me a flathead screwdriver technically didn't use it right. Cause, yep, that's true. <laughs> but I've warrantied a bunch of flathead screwdrivers. I can't really tell you a time that I've declined a warranty on a screwdriver. And Michael knows that. They're mm -hmm. pretty lenient. Now, if you replace this same screwdriver 10 times, it's going to pop up a message actually probably before that i think it's three times on my computer it'll pop up a message and ask if i'm sure i want to warranty it because it knows hey he's replaced it three times in a row time to sell him a set of problems yeah you know so there there is rules and regulations um but that's why we make stuff different i think everybody remembers when they changed the hammers up um i think snap-on was had the same debacle as everybody did where the handles were cracking up here right um, that's just something that you change the design on and go on with it. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we like the, re the design change unless we're talking about pry bars. I don't think really. Well, I know y'all's hammers, that BF40G or whatever the one that I got, the big 40 ounce dead blow. Yeah. Man, that is a hammer right there. And I like it because the handle's so much longer yeah. on it. Because like right now is the time that you really appreciate that when you're having to beat brake drums to get the brakes froze <laughs> yeah and that extra long handle just keeps your hand from hitting the side of that rim mm -hmm. and if you've never done that when it's cold you don't really appreciate that handle length <laughs> yeah so <that's, laughs> you don't have to do it well and that's the thing i mean um the length of the pry bars the length of the hammers heck the, the length of the ratchets they matter yeah. Um, if you gave me a half inch ratchet that was the size of some of these three eighths, mm -hmm. I, I want this one. Um, Absolutely. I always say time, use the longest ratchet that you can fit in there. Well, every time. Most of the time, if I'm using half inch, I want the longest one I can get. I know mm -hmm. that people say, well, it's, it needs to be shorter, tighter area. Well, if, if that's the case, I'm probably going three eighths. I know I probably shouldn't. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I. I mean, the handle's more bulky on a half inch and everything else. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about tight space, I'll just get my three eighths and see what I can do. That's right. Um, now, if I can get a breaker bar in there and just break it loose and then use my three eighths. See, I'm even lazier than that. If I can get that little half inch that's stubby it. in there, pff, buddy, that's what I'm going after. <laughs> <laughs> I have found that thing uh, on equipment and uh, my lawn care businesses, my tire shops, they all love that little yeah. stubby one. Um, that thing will be around for a long time. It ain't, we're missing out. Yep. Um, I can't tell. I've got a uh, a road paving crew, and something about one of their machines that they've always had problems with. They bought that, and now it's made that job ten times quicker, easier. Mm -hmm. And whereas before, every time he was working on one, and I'd pull up, it. I mean, I. It was like talking to a sailor. Every word was a cuss word. You know, yep. it was just. It had him in that mood, and him having that little thing breaks it loose. It and makes a difference. So definitely. And like I say, the warranty always comes down to the guy driving the truck. That's right. It don't matter what brand of tool you buy, like, because there's bad dealers in every single truck that's yeah. on the road. <clears throat> you know, it all boils down to how good the guy is that sells you the tool. That's right. Because if you use them, they're all going to wear out and break eventually. That's the only thing I don't guarantee about my tools. I, I guarantee they're going to break at some point. Yep. I don't have a tool one that I'll say never break. Mm -hmm. um, I know we have what we they call this the unbreakable hammer. I've had one brought back broke, so <laughs> I say everything <laughs> everything can be broke, right? Well you know Wilton used to have that where if you could break their unbreakable hammer they'd pay you like a thousand dollars or whatever. Woo. That didn't last long and I don't think they do it no more. Yeah. Because people was breaking them on purpose, obviously, you yeah. know, but 
Like, I think if you used it correctly, you wouldn't ever have that problem. Yeah. Well, that's like this one. I think they actually call it indestructible, but, I mean, uh, you take a tech that's using it once or twice a week for the average length of a tech, 10 mm -hmm. to 15 years, it's going to break. And if you got a tech that's in it longer than that, it, they're going to break it at some point. Yeah. Um, that's like I had a guy the other day that come on here and um, talking about ratchets, and he the, the main thing on our ratchets, uh, I guess since we got this one laying out, is Snap-on has a different um, lock style, mm -hmm. and I have to convince them that ours is different than Snap-on because some of the people does not like the, the oh, lock yeah, style. Yeah, that thing will hit, you'll bump it on something and lock it yeah. when you want it to be unlocked. Yeah, so I have to tell people, give this one a try. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want a flex head. Just give this one a try. Yep. And I've had to let people take it off my truck and use it for a week. And they come back and it's like, yeah, I'll buy it. See, I don't like a regular flex head either. Yeah. Like, if it's not a lock-in flex head, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like that wobbleness. Yeah, I think the only um, non-locking flex head that I keep is actually a spark plug ratchet. Mm -hmm. That's the only one. If it's, if it's flex head on my truck, I don't think we even make another one besides yeah. the spark plug. If, it, if it's flex head, it's got a lock. Oh, I know cool. they wear out. But don't be afraid to take that thing to the dealer and say, hey, this thing's slipping. Yeah. You know, I, I, and that's why I have people that I have to go in and, and that see them using it and see it slip and be like, hey, you want me to warranty that? Oh, I'll wait till it gets worse. No, just go ahead and let's, let's take care of that. Well, see, that's what everybody's saying that I kind of flip, you know, that I said my favorite ratchet was a snap-on ratchet. But if you think back, what was the ratchet that I was using when it broke that I got pissed at the first Matco dealer? Uh, yeah, the Matco. You know, we always liked a Matco ratchet, but we had a crappy dealer that wouldn't warranty it. So at that point, when you're at that stage, you have no option but to switch brands. Yeah. And well, then once you came around, we all, you know, everybody switched back over to Matco ratchet. So. Yeah, I, you know, I don't think it's necessarily, because um, you won't ever hear me say that snap is not a good tool. Right. I, I own some snap-on tools. I was a tech. I prefer the Matco ratchet over the snap-on. Me personally. That, that the two ratchets that I lost were Matco ratchets, and I replaced them immediately. Like yeah. you've heard me a hundred times say that I want a box. This is my box. This is what I've got ordered. It's still on the truck. It's sold. Um, you won't catch my two ratchets on here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, that's what everybody's like. Well, man, you got like sixty snap-on ratchets. I do. I sure yeah. do. Well, I mean, that's, but the three that I or four that I use all the time. And you can tell by looking at the handles because they're beat. Yeah. You know, they look rough. Is the orange one that's this length. And then I've got one that's a little longer than that. And one that's a little shorter than that. And then a quarter inch. That's what I use all the time. Those are my go-to yeah. ratchets. I've got I've got some guys that, that use them every day. And I go in shops and the new guy started. And, you know, it's like, hey, you know, how are your ratchets? They're good. Just ask also. I ain't asking him. He don't ever use it. It's like, yeah, he does. He's like, no, I don't look at it. It looks brand new. That's because he cleans it every mm -hmm. day. You know, and that's another thing. They, you know, if somebody takes care of these ratchets and cleans the handles and stuff, yep. they last. Some people decide to leave grease on them. And once you leave grease on the orange. Oh, it's, yeah, it uh, it stains it. And that's yeah, it. I mean, that's, that is what I don't know about the blue just yet. Um, we're still they're still having a little bit of trouble getting us the blue handles in just because they weren't the company that they're i think they told us it was pfizer that that is in conjunction with some they're helping them with something mm -hmm. or something i don't know either way they were helping a vaccine company so therefore it, the blue handles were a little slower coming in um i'm thinking that they're getting that wrapped up and, and they're getting us our blue handles i know i've got my quarter inches in done sold them three eighths in and i've ordered the black and blue and stuff like that well, when so. you get a quarter another quarter put me one back because i definitely want that yeah oh yeah so. definitely will but uh they, well, let's get their selling yeah yeah blue blue and sales man the the responses has been great from what i've seen on comments and everybody's loving it so yeah hopefully matt go expand the line and we'll have a lot more cool new blue stuff eventually we'll see we got expo in may maybe they'll show us something cool y'all going to orlando ain't it? orlando Ooh. That'll be a fun trip. Uh, after this week in the snow, I'm ready. <laughs> we were actually supposed to be uh, in Orlando this week. Uh oh. That was uh, our original expo was mm -hmm. right now. Uh, in fact, I should be on a plane headed back for right now. <laughs> oh no, tomorrow. Uh, That's good. So uh, they pushed it back to May, of course, uh, to try to to let the the COVID situation, but. Uh, we had like a mini sale this this past week um, 
to try to help because we're normally at expo so right. like me i sold my inventory down for Expecting this sale it, yeah you know and then we knew it was moved but we had this sale so um i guess the next round of issues that we're going to see at least for the people in mississippi and nashville and some of the other states if your distributor tells you that nashville dc shut down they shut down two days and yeah. they're running half staff right now because they're in just as bad condition as we mm -hmm. are and they don't have the stuff to take care well, of. Well, FedEx hasn't been running either. They've been shut down for four days. Well, that's the thing. I, I had a customer text me right before we started the video. Um, hey, is my stuff come in? No, UPS has not run this yeah. week. Our mail, our regular mail hasn't even yeah, run. Yeah, and that's rain, whatever, rain, sleet, snow, whatever. They might deliver the United States Postal Service delivers, not here. Yeah, um, no, not here. I think there's about 12 uh, zip codes that they wasn't delivering to. Yeah. Uh, we, we haven't had our garbage picked up. Mm -hmm. We ain't got our mail. Our packages ain't come in. So, I mean, it literally shuts us down. So, Absolutely. Uh, it affected our DC. It affected our freight companies. Um, I've got a top drawer ordered for that. It's somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, <laughs> FedEx has got it. I don't know where it's It'll at. It'll be like Christmas when it all comes in, won't it? Man, I'm hoping it don't come in all at once. But um, either way, uh, I'll come home one day, hopefully next week, and have a carport full of stuff. <laughs> there you go. Um, but, yeah, so if your distributor tells you he's having a hard time getting stuff, he's not lying. Our D.C. shut down. And that D.C. does the southern states here and probably some up north, too, so. They've only got two distribution centers, one in Utah, one in Nashville. So if you take the United States and half it, that's that's how they're doing. So it's going to affect more people than not. But with UPS not running there, they didn't see a reason. You know, they can pull orders, but they can't put them outside yeah. because of this. So UPS shutting down hurt us, FedEx. But I wouldn't want to put their life in danger either. No, um, I it. didn't run all week because of that. I didn't want to try to get to, well, one, I didn't want to try to get this down my driveway. But two, I didn't want to get out on the roads and, and kill somebody else trying to make exactly a dollar. Exactly right. Um, the dollar don't mean enough to me to kill some innocent family trying to go to the grocery store or something. Mm -hmm. So we just call it a week and we'll do what we can. There you go. All right, guys. Like always, if you want the Blue Ratchets, they're on the Matco website or talk to your distributor. But thank you all for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down there. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. It's that easy. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you next time. See ya.